All right, guys. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Qtile. Um, I've talked about it a lot in live streams and stuff before, but it's time to do a dedicated video on Qtile and what it is and how it works. So Qtile is a tiling window manager, uh, which means you basically it most tiling window managers or as far as I know almost every single one uh, if not everyone is configured using you know a text file um, or s s some type of configuration a dot file um, and they tiling window managers take up the entire screen so you're used to most desktop environments um, like um, Unity, um, GNOME, um, KDE, those are all floating window managers, which means if you open up a window, it's going to open up. It may open up full screen, but you can drag it around and it floats around your desktop. Um, inside of a tiling window manager, um, when you open up a program um, which normally inside of a tiling window manager you're gonna have key bindings for all of your windows um, or for anything that you want to do like let's say I don't have a key binding for a certain program if I press mod which is my windows key um, in some tiling window managers that'll be alt but I press mod shift enter and it's gonna bring up D menu which is a run prompt to be able to open up any program. So I could open up, let's just say, for example, I needed to open up Kate Live. I could open it up right here. So bada bing, bada boom. Just like that. Well, that I don't need to show you guys how to open up any other program. But let's say uh, you want to open up two programs, like we'll open up GIMP here um, and I actually have a key binding for that so I did that the long way but anyway GIMP and then just a terminal it's gonna split the screen down the middle and so whenever you have two programs open they're gonna take up half the screen and um, I can actually focus between them which you see my highlight moving um, and then let's say I open up just another terminal it so on one side of the screen over here where GIMP is, um, I, this is called the master um, portion of the screen um, or master and then this over here is the stack. Um, so we have the master and stack layout here um, which is also called monad tall um, and uh, or at least here is called monad tall um, and it's to me I think it's the best layout that you can have in a Tyler window manager I think it's very straightforward um, and very I mean it just makes sense because um, there are some programs when where it makes sense to have three really small ones of them on, on the side um, but yeah and then you have your all your different workspaces um, so which is fantastic because I know on Windows a lot of people have like four different monitors only because I mean they need places to put all their windows so they're not all just down in the little toolbar they want to be able to see all of them well that's uh, that's stupid that's absolutely stupid because you're not going to be looking at all those screens at all the different times so you're you're wasting money and just just space of this universe in general for no reason because well I mean Windows I believe even has this function I'm not sure don't quote me on that but um, yeah we have different workspaces so I can have GIMP and my terminal open in this workspace and then switch over to my third workspace which is called Sys and then I could open up um, I'm trying to think what's a good program for us to open up Caden Live. Let's just open up Caden Live. Yeah, and then I can switch between them in seconds. Takes no time. And so, I mean, like, this is how I normally have my workflow going. Um, I do have another monitor here, but I'm actually trying to find someone to buy it. It's a cheap 1080p monitor. I mean, it's a good resolution. Um, but the panel's not that great and it's just overall very cheap and I'm just 
trying to get someone to buy it for like 10 or 15 bucks so but uh, yeah, I, I work with one monitor. You really don't need more than one one monitor. I'm not saying anything bad about people who have more than one monitor. Um, there are plenty of you know reasons to have one, but in my opinion, it's not necessary, um, especially if you've optimized your workflow um, well enough. Especially like when it comes to Tiny Window Managers, you can you can optimize your workflow pretty well to have just one monitor and never even think you should need more um, and so let's dive into the Qtile config that I have going on so we'll CD into my config folder and oh I have caps lock on we'll CD into my config folder and my Qtile if I can spell my Qtile folder and we will open up my config file with Vim. So here we are. You can see um, I've got it uh, my logo in here uh, with I it's uh, was originally modified by Derek Taylor which is DT um, or DistroTube uh, and then butchered <laughs> to my liking. Uh, and so uh, I have all my different key bindings set in here, the window controls, um, and also some controls for the layouts. And then the groups, I have them named down here. Um, and then also have uh, the default theme settings. And I've commented out a few of DT's own, like his preferred like he, he has some of these already commented out and then I commented out even more of his because um, I just need uh, Max and Monad Tall. So um, that, that, that's all I want, that's all I need. And then I got my color scheme and then the you know uh, panel widgets and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty simple and straight straightforward config file. Um, I really like it. Uh, and Qtile in general is just one of those programs where it it gets out of your way. Um, Qtile, I haven't really had any issues with it other than when I switched to Manjaro, installing Qtile and going straight into it uh, was a real pain in the ass because it kept installing with a broken default config. And I mean, multiple times with just a base latest version uh, or, or latest install of Arch out of the box just Qtile installed improperly don't know why but yeah but all I had to do was just you know get in the correct config file and we're all good so uh, yeah if you are interested in Qtile or learning more about window managers I'll have plenty of resources down below um, but I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.